This is Dror Moshe Kasuto. Shalom Vrucha. We're continuing with the wonderful learnings of the book of Bereshit. We learned about the tree of life. We learned about the tree of knowledge. Venahar yotze me'eden l'ashkot et agan. And there's a river that comes out of Eden, of heaven, to water the garden. And then he splits into four main rivers. One of them, its name is Pishon, and he's surrounding a certain area. Over there you can find gold. And the gold over there in that area is good, means precious. There are good stones and a lot of wealth that you can find over there. Again, it's we're not talking about a physical location. Even if in a certain aspect, the, in that ancient time, those things took place physically as well, and those rivers really went out of a certain place, even if we're learning and trying to learn it in that aspect still, for us, the teaching of the Bible, of the wisdom of heaven, must take us to an inner dimension, into our source of inspiration to understand what does it mean that there is a river that goes out from that ancient place? And what does it mean that it's separated to four different um, rivers, main rivers? And what does it mean that one of them is surrounded with gold and, and, and precious stones. And the name of the second river, Gichon, it's a river that is surrounding the area of Africa. And the third river, his name is Chidekel, to the area of Syria. And the fourth one is so, what's the meaning of all that? The main meaning is that every person is trapped in physicality. And the physicality took place after the sin of Adam and Eve. And even though that they've been exiled from Eden, and they've been sent to, to work and to life of labor with, la with death and with many difficulties that, is taking, that are taking place in our lives based on the fact that we are physical. Our bodies become sick. We're aging. A person can break his leg can lose his car keys. The difficulties and the challenges that we're experiencing are based on us being trapped in physicality. That's the exile. That is what that happened to our souls, that our souls are the souls of Adam and Eve. The exile that we are experiencing means the life that we're experiencing, our life of exile, our life that are stuck in physicality. But there are still rivers of pure water that are coming from within, that are still pulling the pure water from Eden from the root of our souls, where we are still spiritual, inside of ourselves. And if we will connect ourselves to those four main ways of, of purity, 
sources of divine intelligence that are connecting us through our awareness, through our senses, through our ancient memory, through our feelings, to the source of our spiritual soul. So then through that, we will be able to bring redemption and healing to our bodies as well. So the Creator took the man and put him in Eden to work and to protect. That was our job, to work and to protect, not only to enjoy. We were supposed to make sure that the creation works fine. We are here on a mission, even when we so to speak, live our lives in heaven, we should be still on top of what it is needed and, and expected from us to do. So for an example, if you're healthy, if you are wise, if you are wealthy, if you're strong, if you're powerful, if you hold any position in life, it's not for you to enjoy or enjoy. Oh, now I have so, so, so much money, I'll buy a yacht and I, I'll, I'll, I'll go on, on a cruise and like forget about, forget about life. You should be awake and connected to life around you, to your surroundings. You're healthy, you're, you're, you're good. You need to check with yourself, what am I doing with this health? For what I received it for? What's the purpose of it? What's the use? What can I do with my power, with my wisdom, with my life experience, with my qualities, with my talents, with my heaven, with my points of good, with my treasures, with my qualities? What am I doing? I need to work with it. I need to protect the garden. I need to protect the world. I need to use the treasures that have been installed inside of me, that have been given to me for the purpose that I've been created for, to work and to protect, to do the job of Hashem, to go and to distribute and advertise the truth of the Creator, In a way, men and women are very much alike, and in a way, men and women are very different. In women, there is a certain aspect in their character, in their behavior, in relationship, I mean, that they are looking for simple life. They want to live in heaven. They want to live good life. And for them heaven is like here. They can enjoy a good meal. They can enjoy sitting watching a movie with their husbands. They're having a simple mindset that is connecting them to the true will of the Creator from us that we will live in heaven because when the Creator created heaven and earth He put us over there in Eden for us just to do our job to be connected to who He made us to be to who we really are and just to be who we are with no big expectations and big missions and like great plans it's like it was a natural process that was about to bring us to a very high and spiritual level but not by doing so much we were just supposed to be who we were 
But after the sin, we've been exiled, been deported from, from that heaven, from that inner quiet. And the curse that took place, and we'll learn it soon, brought us to a certain mindset of sorrow that we must work hard for our income to get to our hands, that we're dealing with enemies, that we are lost, that we are impure, that we are failing, that we have fears and weaknesses. And all those things are taking place mainly today in the mind of the man that he cannot find quiet and joy and satisfaction from simple things in life. He always have troubles in his mind. He's always worried. He's always confused. He's always thinking of ways what to do and how to do it. And he's always being overprotective and hard. And of course that every relationship is different and every relationship is individual and unique and special. And sometimes you can see the total opposite in a certain couple. But there is something very like basic that women are more connected to that inner will of heaven for us to live in heaven of the creator for us to live in Eden and Eden is here you think that Eden is over there somewhere over the rainbow where the bluebirds fly it's it's not over there it's not over there Eden and heaven is here it's here when you connect yourself to that aspect of your life that the Creator already created the world and He already made everything for you. And all of your livings and all of your needs, everything is being supplied to you. Look at yourself now. Are you breathing because that you are breathing or that the Creator makes you breathe? the blood streams in your veins because that you are streaming it, because you're moving it, or because that God already put that machine that caused your heart to push the blood and deliver the oxygen and all the vitamins and everything. Are you digesting the food? Are you separating the good, the fibers, the vitamins, all the things that are needed for you? and throwing away the waste or that your body is doing it for you. And your body built and designed with millions of soldiers that are running and keeping their job. And all the world is a great gigantic machine and system that is supplying everything you need. The trees are purifying the air from the poison and 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 releasing the oxygen for you to be able to breathe. The winter is bringing new rain and fresh water to the water sources. Animal, animals are going and coming. And, and, and even in the modern culture, like the government, even if you have issues with it, it's working for you. And many systems are working for you. And it's true that there are many things that we should fix and we want to fix and we want to make our lives to be much, much better and nicer. But look how many workers are working just for you, for you to be able to open a can of, of, of pickles. Like, do you know how many truck drivers are waking up every morning and driving for weeks from one side of the country to the next, not meeting their families? and they're putting fuels in their trucks, and farmers are planting those cucumbers and harvesting and bringing them into factories, and designers and, and, and softwares programmers, are, people are working on the design of those cans and advertising it 
in the local newspapers and grocery stores and, and supermarkets and 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 there are lawyers to every company and there are advertisers and there are workers and there are like like managers to the stores and cleaning ladies and men that are coming and immigrants and not immigrants and like and and all the world is working for you to open your pickle can and choose the one you like and just going to say a small blessing and 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 eat it and like everything is here for you to be able to enjoy that pickle and it sounds crazy but that's how crazy the creator loves you he loves you in a crazy way and he makes sure that you will have everything you need that you will receive this wisdom through your iPhone right now when you sit like alone in your life and and just like he's talking to you through through the Amuna channel through the There's nowhere to go. It's to find Hashem here, right now, when you're alive. It's not to go and climb on the mountain of God. It's not over there, it's here. Those four rivers are coming from within to wash your brain, to wash your mind, to purify you, to reconnect you to who you are, that heaven is here that in the moment that you will connect yourself to your heavenly aspect, to your soul, you will already gonna get so much, like, so much wiser. Just really to enjoy life as they are, to do what Hashem wants you to do, to enjoy the qualities of who He created you to be, to give a chance to life and to come back to the truth. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.